Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On Hot Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions that you have request, make sure to drop them online in the comments. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any of the requests and any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's been a different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring these expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not very good idea of long term project. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel and check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me actually answer one of the most popular questions on my channel which is how to fix the domain and DNS error on your Shopify store. I usually do complicated things that you cannot do using the team editor like using custom calls and stuff to achieve things that you specifically want or things that you need to pay money for. That's usually what I do in this channel. But the question keeps repeating, how to fix the domain error, how to fix domain DNS error. I got tired of answering the same question over and over, so I will do a video, whoever got the same question can watch the video and fix the problem. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team, it's fully customized, it has many many stuff on all, everything in here, I did it in tutorials. So let me close it actually and check out, yeah, this is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that remind the user how many products he added to the cart. And I got really good feedback about this. So let me close this one and let me access the setting. So the first thing you're going to do is access the setting. Then on the left panel right here, you will see domains as you can see. Simply click on it and it will show you the domains that's connected to your Shopify store or Shopify account. Now it's going to do demonstration on one of my Shopify stores, but I got a lot of haters lately. They keep disliking my videos. And so as soon as I post, they dislike the video. So I was, I was, I was really hesitant to do that. I didn't want to cause issues or something. So I would not do that. I would do demonstration on the Shopify store that I do use in tutorials. So the first thing you need to check is make sure your domain is listed here as the primary. As you can see, it says primary for online store. That's the first thing you need to check. In this video, as I said, I will show you everything that you have to check and make sure it's correct and everything checks then you're good to go you just have to wait 24 hours sometimes a little bit more then the domain will work just fine i promise you just follow along with this video and make sure to double check everything i will mention in this video and i will also uh, share with you a tool that you can check actually the name servers if I actually set it to shopify or no then you're good to go so as i said make sure the domain is actually set as for the primary for online store. The next thing is click on it and if there is some issues, it will show you an, uh, a red message here saying, hey, there is an issue with the I uh, like record or CNAME record or something like that. But if you don't see any red message here, that means it's good. The second thing is you will, the third thing actually, you will see a, a button here says check connections. You can click on it and you can check actually domain. So what it basically do is it will check the DNS name records to check if you actually did change the DNS for the domain you bought to Shopify or no. Click on it and uh, wait for a couple of seconds. If it shows an error, then get back to your domain registrar and check the, um, the A record and the C name record. And what you should point those record to? To these, as you can see. So you have to uh, add a record A, type A, to this uh, IP, as you can see. And the C name, you have to add a record, the edit the record C name to this one, shops.myshopify.com. Now we'll put all of this in the description. So double check with the domain register they use to buy the domain and set each record uh, straight, like the example I showed you now. And after that, get back to this and double check again with the check connection button. Then it will show you connection succeed. The next thing you're going to do, you have to wait for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, a little bit more than 30 minutes, then open up Google search engine and simply type in uh, DNS check tool, just like you see. I will put some links in the description box. So make sure to access one of these. There is many, many of them. So in here, type in the domain name that you did bought or you did connect to Shopify. In my case, I'm gonna use one, the, the website that I, I share calls on, which is on how that calls, as you can see. So simply after you did type in the domain name here, click on DNS lookup and give it a couple of seconds and it will actually check the DNS in here. 
and it should show you the IPs I did show you earlier, which is these, as you can see, it should show you this IP address and the domain name will be, uh, actually, this is called name server. This name server should be shops.myshopify.com, but in my case, it shows Cloudflare because I have Cloudflare on my website. If it did indeed shows you those records on the IP address tab, that means you get to go. The last thing you have to do is wait 24 hours. There is no escape from this. You have DNS takes 24 hours to work properly. So you have to wait 24 hours and your domain, I promise you will work just fine. And as I said, I'm working for you. Even if you have issues and it didn't work for you, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.